Okay, so what I want to test out today is can I charge the Cybertruck at the campground and still utilize and plug in the RV into the Cybertruck so we still have power in the RV yet we're getting a charge on the Cybertruck. So first let's go inside. I'm going to turn on the air conditioners just to show that they're powered, they're working and and then we'll show once we disconnect how they turn off and hopefully when we plug into the Cybertruck. Okay, so that's on high. We don't need a 47. Let's just go to 68. Okay, so AC just went on. I'm gonna turn this one on as well just to So that's on as well. All right, now I'm gonna back up the Cybertruck, disconnect the trailer, plug in the Cybertruck, plug in the trailer into the Cybertruck. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's disconnect the trailer. All right. Okay, before we plug in the trailer, I want to plug in the truck just to make sure that it's charging. Come in over here. Let me see, I don't know if I turned on the breaker. It'll help if I turn on the breaker. Okay. Okay, so you can see right here, it's green, it's flashing, so it's charging. Now let me turn on the outlets. Let's go inside real quick. Let's just make sure the air conditioners are all off. So there's power because the 12 volt battery is powering the lights, but it won't power the air conditioner. Um, yeah, this is still in the on position, but it's not on because 12 volt can't, batteries can't do that. So the Cybertruck is charging. If you come in and look at this, it's charging and saying it's gonna take 11 hours and 15 minutes to get a full charge. Uh, it's doing 15 miles per hour. So now let's turn on the outlets. Okay, so it's not letting me turn it on. Let me see if I unplug. Let's unplug the charging cable. Yeah, so outlets now can go on. Okay, so now the outlets are on. 
keep cabin and bed outlets on for 12 hours. Okay, so now let's plug in, let's do it backwards. Let's plug in the RV into the truck. Let's see if it's on. Okay, so it tripped it. Let's reset. Okay, so now it's on. And I can hear the AC units went on. Let's go inside, let's go check. So yeah, ACs are back on. Now let's see if we could plug in and charge the Cybertruck while it is powering the trailer. Okay, as soon as I plugged in, I can hear the ACs go off and yet it's charging. So let's go back inside, let's see what it's telling us. So they're disabled. So it's pretty much, this was a good test. It's telling us that you cannot charge the Cybertruck and have a trailer and outlets working and powering your trailer. So now we know. Hopefully they're able to fix that. I don't, I'm not sure if it's capable, if they're able to do that, but that would be really a good thing because now someone can go to a campsite, charge their cyber truck without having to leave the campground, without having to go to a supercharger, but yet still power their uh, trailer or RV.